full mathematical concepts that will actually improve your trading. I'm Manir, also known as a Ghost of Trades, and I run Unbiased Trading. Let's get straight into these four math concepts. First is the law of large numbers. Imagine flipping a coin, heads or tails, just one flip gives very little information, but if you flip it a hundred times, now you can actually estimate the true chance of heads, which is normally around 50%. This law is the backbone of systematic trading, and with more data, e.g. flips, your estimates actually become closer to reality and what you can expect over your sample size or over the lifetime of that trading system. Without it, we are making decisions of insignificant amount of data, which I commonly see across the trading space. So understanding that the higher the sample count, in general, normally allows us to have a clearer and less uncertain conclusion about the trading data that we're observing. Next is the measure of central tendency. Think of these as different ways to describe the center of your data. The mean is the most familiar way, so this is just the standard average way, but it can be skewed by outliers like single big price jumps or single big gaps when you're kind of looking at small cap data. The median represents the middle value of the particular data set that you'll be looking at, unaffected by extremes making it the better choice for volatile markets and overall trading data in general. The mode shows the most frequent value, use, useful for spotting the most common price levels, um, depending on what kind of data you're looking at. Now, choosing the right measure depends on your data and what you want to understand, but often the median is the best depiction in my experience. And the reason for this is in trading data, it is so many skews in different ways that if you ever look at the average, the average is always going to be, from my experience, at least 10, 20% higher uh, than the, what the actual median is. And unless you're trying to play just the outliers, where maybe the mean could be more useful to you but overall in, in my experience from that side then i would just take the outliers into a separate data set and just look at the median of those outliers um, but normally what you want to be looking for is actually the true value and not based on the outlier examples that are included in that data set next is probability distributions imagine a bell curve that's exactly what a probability distribution normally looks like it shows the likelihood of different outcomes e.g this could be stock prices change on a particular day so we could be looking at apple for example while predicting any single day's movement is pretty much impossible, understanding these probabilities are crucial. Maybe there's a 70% chance the price will stay within a certain range, and a 20% chance it will go higher than that, and a 10% chance it will go lower than that. This helps you prepare for different scenarios and manage risk and not chase the sure thing as many people promote in trading videos. As the certainty of an outcome on any day is pretty much impossible to predict, but over enough samples, it can actually be probable. Be sure when you're looking at trading data to plot out a distribution of how that data looks on a curve um, or on a chart, and that can be really useful for you to actually understand how that kind of uh, data really is distributed. Uh, it's a really easy trick and takes no more than like five seconds in Python, or you can even do it quite quickly in Excel. Uh, it's just often really useful, and you can also see uh, when you're trying to test data, you can see if there's a really huge outlier kind of chance on that probability distribution, uh, and you can see maybe if there was a coding mistake or something like that, or maybe a, a data mistake as well. So it's a really good way of catching those uh, if you're ever looking for errors in your data set. Next is standard deviation. Remember, markets are dynamic. Prices and other data points don't just sit at one number. They move around a lot. Standard deviation measures the spread, so how far data typically deviates from the average. This exact concept is what makes most of the common indicators, like VWAP bands uh, that are just standard deviation bands around VWAP, which is just the volume weighted average. By understanding the spread, you can anticipate normal market fluctuations and avoid mistaking them for significant signals or actually creating something to detect those significant signals when they move you know, two standard deviations, three standard deviations from the average. By being aware of these four concepts, they will help you navigate uncertainty and make more informed decisions on probabilities and ultimately improve your chances of trading success. Trading data has been the backbone of pretty much my trading for the past four years or so, uh, and I hope this channel, if you explore some other videos as well, can help you with that as well. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed it, please like and share it with anyone else who might be interested.